Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. Now in the previous episode we did start building quite a few towers for our defensive walls as well. And as you can see things are starting to progress quite a bit. I've done a little bit of, well I guess little is probably an understatement. It's taken us quite a few seasons to get those towers ready and move a few things around as well. So let's uh, jump out of this screenshot mode and get back into the game. We'll speed up the time as well. Now, yeah, so let's go through it. In the previous episode, there was a massive amount of really amazing comments and ideas from you. So first of all, thank you so much for taking the time to write down some of your ideas and sharing them with us. But I think first of all, what we'll do is we'll have a quick little tour about uh, some of the updates and uh, changes that we've had. Yeah, I've just had a little read here as well, but I wasn't ready to record. So there's a few remains that we're dealing with. Right, okay, so what's happening here? I started putting roofs over the rest of the walls or in some other sections, but then I realized since we have those stairs in here, it doesn't actually allow us to put roofs over there. So that's a little bit annoying, but oh well, we'll figure something out. And actually I've already tested something in a different section. Now, okay, so we've got a few walls, towers going here. I have changed up the stairs and it doesn't look pretty, but it does the job. So the, these towers are just a tiny bit too small and I wanted to make sure that we're not using the middle bit so that way we can have these uh, braziers up there. So yeah, we had to move those doors into the corners because with the stairs they can still access them um, as you can see in here from three sides. So yep, that's a little update and that means also now we're able to put those roofs directly above here, right next to the tower. So we're not going to run into this issue here. And yeah, that section here is taking quite a bit of time to, uh, to complete, but we are slowly but surely getting there. Now on the inside of things, we've uh, tidied up this area. It's a little bit more empty now and it's almost ready for one of our construction projects. I have temporarily relocated some of the farms just into this section here and a bit of a dumping pile as well. Then uh, let's have a look. Maybe we'll go through a couple of those comments as well. So again, these were fantastic and some of them were actually quite, quite fun to read because I had uh, fairly similar ideas as well. So first of all, I did notice some people mentioned that the, the rules as they are, are good enough, but I also understand and in some ways share the feeling that this looks a little flat here. It's like it's missing something. So one of the comments was, hey, you could raise it a little bit and make this roof higher. I sort of wish they had half walls as well, so it wouldn't have to be so high, but I'll just put a couple of stairs in here and hopefully we can finish constructing this so at least we can see what it's going to look like. Then the other idea was what I'm thinking to do. Actually, how about we put a couple of roofs here so we can see how far they run. So if we have roofs about here, then we could just have a floor and do something similar what we have on top here. So just some merlons going across and that should make it a little bit different just give it a bit more character perhaps but let's put a let's try and complete this hopefully our villagers will have time to come and come and finish this off so let's grab a couple more just in these corners and then it's almost complete just one more here we go Okay, it's a little difficult to see right now what it might look like, but I think most of their construction jobs are nearly done, so they should focus on this area next. And as soon as it's done, then we can um, we can see how it's going to go. I don't know if we need this set of stairs here to help them move up and down, uh, but once this is built, then we can remove it. And with the, the benefit of having it this way is we can put some of those fire pits uh, or some more decorations up here as well, whereas with the rooftop here uh, there's nothing else we can put on top. 
which is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, we probably don't need these anymore actually as well. Are there any more? Yep, there is one if I can only grab it. There we go. And we'll probably have to give them a way to get up here. So let's do something temporary. Maybe some stick ones. Oh, calm down. Here we go. It's a little tricky sometimes to get them where you want them. And that's one side. Do we need a uh, whole length here as well? Not sure, but we'll, we'll put something like this in there. Okay, uh, let's have a look. Almost done. Just a little bit more here. So that's uh, that is fine. We also had a small event. We have a new settler. That brings our tally back to 13, I believe. Yeah, so we also extended just a minor update here. Another bedroom was needed. And we started digging an extra one. Oh, we are missing a couple of walls here. Okay, so, and we are almost done with this one. So should we, uh, wrong one, here we go. So should we get another settler event, which I don't think it's going to happen because our colony is pretty big already. I believe those events will slow down over time. Right, so with this, I did also some little fixes here and there. I think we had some notice that some of our corner merlons were, were missing, so I went around and tried to make sure that everything's starting to look as complete as we can. Okay, another tower is complete, which is fantastic. So, yep, there we go. Just a couple more Merlins missing from there. And then, yeah, that's going to be pretty much what it's going to look like. And then we'll have a few uh, fires and things up there as well. Now, also, I have been changing those floorings and I really want to keep uh, these ones, with, which are the limestone floors. However, they only give us a travel speed bonus of 95%, whereas these ones give us 120. And that's the same with the clay brick floors as well. So fortunately, we've already been using clay bricks in the, in the cave, but up here, uh, yeah, because this, distances to our farms and other places are going to potentially increase. I think it was a wise decision to swap them over, so thank you very much for pointing that one out. So let's have a look through uh, some of the comments in regards to the what we should build in inside our inner walls. And boy oh boy, there was some great ideas. Now, in the block one, we had some ideas for blacksmith and maybe even moving those production things in here. Uh, in here, I think there was some uh, some farms, and perhaps even a even a warehouse. Then there was some great ideas that we should use that dead space inside the towers, um, perhaps on this floor to put in some armories. So then they're also close to the arches in case they need to. Let's say their bow or or something breaks, then they will be able to grab a replacement one straight away, which I think is a fantastic idea. There was also a very good mention, since there are two types of churches, we should use this space to build two different ones. And that's something I did think before as well. Now, I think Bikini Bro had a very long paragraph and that was amazing. Thank you so much, man. I really liked your cathedral idea as well, because that's exactly what... I don't know if I mentioned this before or no, but that's actually what I initially wanted to do somewhere around here as well. So we could have a bigger cathedral and then we'll have to separate sections because they don't really like sharing that space. So they're happy to be in the same kingdom, but as long as they can have their own room, that's when they'll be happy. So we could have it or we most likely will have it here. But now the trickier part with the design is going to be, well, this is also the access to the our back alley over here or the, or, or the back garden where we will be having access to the mine and to potentially our forestry and maybe some farms further down the line as well should we need it. Of course, it's a little further away, so 
walking and running distances might be might be a problem but uh, i guess we'll, we'll we'll see let me just hide those trees so it's a little bit easier to see so yeah that walkway i guess that could be on the bottom level then and the cathedral itself most things maybe could be on higher levels uh, I guess that could work. There was also a really great idea since we... Uh, that's a little difficult to see right now. But there are some iron deposits over here. Now this is salt actually. Oh uh, uh, yeah, that's all salt. There was a great idea how we could put some mines in here and leave it open. So it actually looks like a, like a mine. But I'm not sure if that's gonna work with our, with our castle very well and I'll explain why. Now the inner castle is fairly small and the space is limited. It might become a tricky situation because if we turn it into a mine then we might not have space for other things that we really want inside those inner walls. Now this area with a massive iron deposit over here now this could be the location that makes a little bit more sense for a mine since it's out outside of our walls uh, so that could be perhaps a better option. So I guess we'll see. Now what is also a little bit tricky here is we'll have to get rid of this construction here. I don't really like how far into our inner walls or the inner kingdom it is going right now. So I've done a little bit of thinking and here's where we might potentially, well I think we're going to have it where we will have the entrance to our lower level. So let's bring the uh, levels down a little bit. So I've got a door in here. I have not yet mined this section out, but I'm thinking a, a set of stairs could go down from here and then we'll connect you up. They could walk straight through and then into here and to get into our kingdom. Initially, when we were building this area, I liked because this, uh, this entrance is more like in a central area. So all the distances are about the same length from here. And we've got a thunderstorm. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that was how it worked initially. Okay, do you know what? Let's see how it goes. It's fine. If we need to change this in the future, I'm sure we can figure something out. So how about you start mining from here... And now, ooh, where is this going to go? I think it's going to go... Th that was loud. And then uh, straight through there, we can probably... Let's do single, a single layer and walls only. We will most likely... Uh, no, do not do that, please. Let's try again. So we would like to uh what's going on slow it down just a tiny bit these were the oh wait up uh these different levels can get quite tricky sometimes another one another one and i th think are we connecting up now oh dear i guess we'll find out any resources there no so let's mine out this bit here as well and we'll put a floor in real quick, just over there. And let's see how it's going to go. Let's just check on the progress for here. Okay, so there we go. This is kind of what it could look like to give it a bit more character, I suppose. And if we finish the roofs on at least one of the sides, that's pretty much how it's going to be. How far can we go on this side? Just a little bit. We'll still have to change up the uh, the entrance here a little bit. I've only done it for the two of the newest towers. But yeah, so this is what we started with. This will be one of the options. Ooh, that color shift was pretty intense. And then that's another option. They've done it all, so... How about we get rid of all these supporting floors now we don't need you sadly okay so you can you can move out okay how far are we on the inside of things here uh you've done another bit so that's great and on the lower levels as well yep that's looking good they can now walk through 
And do we not have any floors here? That's surprising. No, we don't. Okay. Well, how about... Hmm. Let's... After the autosave, let's bring it through all the way there. And then, yeah, that's going to be our, I guess, new entrance then. So that way we can just block this all up. And yeah, we'll have a bit more uh, space to play with when putting in those different designs now as well. And yeah, that's going to be so much, so much better. So we'll let the settlers finish the entrance uh, real quick. And as soon as it's done, then we'll be back. All right, we do have the entrance connected now. And well, you look at that little uh, secret uh, tunnel that goes through, which I know it is extending their travel time just a little bit, but I guess for the time being, we'll be, uh, we'll be okay. And um, uh, it, it is a little difficult as well because um, so with our starting decisions, it is a little, a little, little tricky. And I agree. In some ways, things are not very ideal and realistic. Having the main entrance here and then the entrance to our colony and the secret underground cave base, uh, they shouldn't be right next to each other. I guess we'll maybe ask the kingdom further develops we'll find a better area such as maybe under the cathedral instead but for the time being let's have it just in here so then that way we can clear this space uh, have it for for our developments how are we doing just a couple more floors and let's try and take these ones out as well there we go okay people have nothing to do how is that possible why are you not doing anything? Let's have a look at the charts real quick. What are, um, what are your priorities? Ooh, okay, so... How about we'll bring this lower? Actually, no, three is fine for... Hmm... I guess they've done a lot of stuff already. Ooh, it is starting to get a little bit colder as well. So, it's probably a time... That we turn on all the heaters... And then as soon as they'll go into bed, we'll probably want to change their... Uh, what's the time? You should be going to bed now. What are you guys up to? And what's happening up here? Oh, these are running. Gotcha. Why is no one resting? Okay, there's a couple of people. Do you know what? Never mind. Let's go in here. We'll go into seasonal. Let's edit this. And everyone, please change into winter clothes now. And we'll have to, let's go all layers, allow, and please get rid of all your other clothing items. Okay, cool. Now, oh, we do also have a church in here temporarily. So how about, yeah, not the best spot, but it is a spot. Why can't you be built? Because we don't have any, oh. Oh, that's not great. We are going to have to chop down some more wood. Just like so, maybe we'll do one more row, and that should be plenty for for some time. Okay, there we go. Get those built, and I think we can already start dragging things down. Actually, let's keep it on three times speed, that is fine. And then, uh, you're all you're still using that area there, or the stairs. Uh, what did I just do? Oh, this one, no, you're not needed. Let's try and remove this now as well. And we should see them start using that entrance. And we'll do the same on the on the other side. But for the time being, one should be enough. And I'd really like to tear all this down now. Which, if we go a little bit lower, one, two, these are now gone. Oh, here we go. Single layer. And all the all the walls. You're gonna go, and yeah, that is gonna be a quite a big one. We'll should see it all just fall apart now. Okay, almost there. Just a few more walls. Ooh, okay, that was a big one. Right, and now all we gotta do is just batch up. All these unlucky, uh, let's see, relocate, remove, let's do it this way instead. 
What do we have here? Clay. Let's try and... Oh, I really hate when the camera just jumps up and down. I wish the camera didn't stick to the terrain just like... But it's okay. Just some minor complaints that we have today. And alright, you'll be covered up as well. And well, you'll look at that. All this beautiful space that we have here. Uh, you're right, actually, we're probably gonna have you... Those Merlons. Just through there. And then same with the corner bits, which I'll put in actually right now. Because otherwise we're gonna forget. Okay, done. Now, the walkway is gonna go through... Uh, it's so difficult to see. So, floors... We'll take all of them out and we'll replace them with these nicer... Oh, what's happening there? Yeah, these nicer floors. Oh, let's cover you up again. Here we go. I think there's one more spot missing, isn't it? Yep, just over there. Okay, great. So, quite a bit of space. We'll probably connect you up through somewhere here as well. Uh, maybe something like so. So what I'm thinking, based on the comments you left as well, I think what we'll, uh, what we'll do is we'll have the smithy and the production area here because there's a little bit less uh, soil on the ground. This area is all grass, I believe. And yes, there is soil here, but yeah, we can put more farms in, in this area, at least for, for the time being, until we decide where the farms should, uh, should really go. I think we'll go with the workshop and a smithy and these production areas being in here. So we'll have a bit of a construction similar in a way to this that we had here, but then we'll also create a bigger sort of balcony or open air space that will be covered by roofs but um, actually we might not be able to build roofs over those now that I think about it I guess we'll see yeah I think hmm okay we'll see so first step let's get the rid of those farms we are almost in winter what day is it day 10 oh yeah that means we are not gonna really need them so all of them can be relocated. And let's just do something simple. How big are you? Two, three, four, five. Uh, what just happened? Let's try copy. Here we go. Five is one. So we can now tell you that you're no longer needed. What do we have glowing here? Uh, we've got flax growing there. So, same thing. Let's do a 5. 5 by 5. You can go. Another thing. Herbs. Okay. And, yep. Yeah, so, just gonna move them over. And as soon as it's nice and tidy, we'll cut everything down as well. We'll jump back as soon as we're ready to start building. Well, change of plans. I think the episode is actually gonna end with this raid. So, let's take a... Ooh. Oh, no. Yep, so everything we've been building is about to get destroyed. Oh dear. Um, okay, let's uh, take one step at a time. How many bows, archers? Let's see, one long bow there, second one here, short bow. I think we are gonna have to just... Um, uh, what can we do? Uh, there's gonna be a lot of rebuilding, so they are approaching us from this end. Oh, so that's the main entrance. Right, okay. I think our archers will probably be able to take care of their melees. I would like to send the melees from a different location, or at least a small team. I don't know if it's gonna be safe to put the archers up here. Uh, do you know what? Everyone gather up there. Now I'd like to take, let's say, Pixie, Sanchit, and maybe Greg on a bit of a separate mission where you guys will exit from there. You can't really get down from here, can you? Uh, that's going to be a long way around. 
I think our archers are leveled up enough where we can. We'll resume this and let's see how this is going to roll out. We are going to have to try and get rid of them as quick as we can. Now, there's a lot of them here. 15, okay. 13 of us. Hmm. I wonder if they're going to shoot automatically or someone stays behind to reload them. And here goes the first one. Oh dear. Oh, okay, you're going to have to get out of this zone. Is your movement speed affected? No. Okay, get out from there. Everyone else. Yep, I don't think we're going to stay on the walls. Let's see, what else are you guys targeting? Oh yeah, okay, three stay behind, so that means ten of them, sorry, twelve, are still attacking us. Uh, well, let's try Let's put the arches. Do you know what? No, we're not going to put them on the walls. We are going to... No, we kind of have to make way. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult now, uh, because we've only given one access down, and this is quite a long way around. It's going to take a very long... Yeah, they have to go all the way from here just to get there. I mean, we could try. Let's see who's this. Uh, Sanchez, you're going to go around. Uh, you guys get a little closer. And yeah, why not? Who's this over there? Why are you not drafted? Here we go. And everyone else, let's bring you forward. I guess we could try and block their way. Oh, there's two. Actually, this could work in our favor. Where are they going? Uh, they're coming up from here. In that case, let's just go there. We'll have our arches, I suppose, stationed just over here. And let's see which way are they changing their pathfinding. No, they're still going from there. So as soon as they're through, we shall send maybe two of you. Actually, let's do that. Get down from here. And we'll line you up a little bit better as well. So potato, who's here? Polly, if you could stand there, that could be a little bit better for us. And Florence, if you move over there as well, please. Okay, now we can go down from here. Just don't want them to target us just yet. And a sneak attack from from the sides there. Just a little flank. Okay, I'd like you to block somewhat their entrance. Anyone's gonna run? No one's gonna run from there. And now, uh, never mind. They are now attacking us from, or flanking us from the sides. But that's okay. You guys get down. Get over there. Take this one down. And where's... Oh, you're still pretty far away. Okay, that's fine. Get over there. Let's see what's happening up here. Everything's still intact, relatively. Oh, they must have nerfed those catapults because... I remember when I played it about almost a year ago. Did we lose someone? Oh, I should probably focus on these guys. Okay, you're gonna pull back. Uh, someone is here. You're following us. Okay, okay. Now that's an enemy. Okay, so that's good. Who is? Who are you shooting? Oh, you're shooting us. So let's do it this way. Tim R. If you do that, good looking gamer, help us take this person down. Same with Polly. And Potato, if you could shoot Stevin. Let's see what happens. Doesn't look. Oh no, these are our people. Okay, so that's great. And now, Potato, if you move out a little bit. Sh uh, uh, are we too close? We might be too close. Okay, we are gonna ask you... Ah, oh, Potilda, why are you still here? Oh dear. If we... Uh, do you know what? There's so many of us here. Close range is fine. And you guys got stuck here somehow. 
Oh dear, okay. Ooh, we are a little hurting. But let's see if we can come and attack that over there. Same with you, Polly. Ooh, okay. How far are you getting there? Okay, Pixie got through, so that's great. There's not many of them left now, I believe. Uh, who is injured? You should probably not be here anymore. Same with Florence. Katarina. Okay, he's almost down. So if you could go. Let's see if we can send any more reinforcements. And that's fine. You can go there as well. Oh no, Greg is down. Actually, never mind. We are gonna have to. Victory. So, let's see if a couple of you uh, is down now. Okay, so that's great. I think with you lot, you can be free. And these guys, oh, they've already escaped. Uh, okay, well, that's a shame, but that was quite a quite a big one. That's uh, our first siege of the castle, so seems the walls are still standing, which is great. I actually overestimated them. I thought a couple of hits will take down our defenses right away because that's what it used to be like, at least before. But I'm glad things are a little bit better now. Uh, it seems they have been nerfed, but but yeah, I guess we're we're alive. We we're here to see another day. And in the future, we'll probably need to think about the next siege and how we're gonna deal with that. Because this here was not the best strategy that we could have. Maybe we should still position our arches on those, on those walls. Uh, because some of our colonists are pretty low health now as well. And they're, they were very close from, from dying. Yeah, okay. So we'll think about that. Now we've also quickly updated these towers so they have the entrances or the stairs just like the other two have and here's a quick look what the walls are like so this one's with a little merlon tiny tower that has no access but could have decorations this is uh, just the roofing bit with nothing else and then we have a slightly raised roof uh, here i haven't really done anything because these are the three options feel free to let us uh, know down in the comments which of those ones should we go with or maybe we should do different ones and then in the next one we'll try and start building our production zone and have it complete as well that's gonna be it for this episode so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one